Now we want to be nice. We're much tougher. We're much smarter. We're much more sane. We believe in the process. We don't run around like Antifa with the little arms and then go home, back home into mommy's basement. And put on the black uniform and the black helmet. Oh, it's so disappointing when those helmets fall off and you look at this weak little face, isn't it? And they hit people with clubs, you know? They hit them again and again. Oh, they're so lucky with nice soul. Oh, they're so lucky. And they go back home. And they get yelled at by mom and dad. Ah, President of the United States, Donald Trump, out on the stump. Out on the stump, stumping in Missouri last night. What a, what a show, man. <laughs> you saw this shit? So, uh, he does, he's making news today. Donald Trump's making news today. He's saying, I mean, uh, I'm going to read from the post, I, uh, and I have the video of him actually saying it at the convention, <clears throat> at the rally. President Donald Trump expressed disappointment that two recent terror incidences, including a mass shooting in Pittsburgh synagogue, hurt the GOP's momentum going into the next week's midterm elections. Cesar Sayak, an avid Trump supporter, has been charged with sending 13 explosive devices to prominent Democrats across the country. Robert Byers, Bowers, an anti-Semite and immigration critic, was charged with the, with the murder of 11 worshipers during a shooting spree at Pittsburgh Synagogue. Our speculation was if it's a false flag, right? a false flag is designed, especially with the bomber, right? It's designed to steer the momentum away, steer the momentum into a ditch. Now, we did have two maniacs stop a momentum that was incredible because for seven days, nobody talked about the elections. It stopped the tremendous momentum. More importantly, we have to take care of our people and we don't care about momentum when it comes to a disgrace like just happened to our country. But it did nevertheless stop a certain momentum and now the momentum is picking up trump is on multi-state campaign style push to help republican candidates before the midterm elections republicans are trying to stop democrats push to take control of the house of representatives and the senate what's my opinion of the election and uh, everybody keeps asking me i i think that the um i think the the Republicans hold the House, maybe advance it a little more, and uh, and advance the Senate I, I, for whatever it's whatever it's worth. I don't think it even matters anymore, as I've said. But uh, this is this is the President of the United States saying that false flags in our country work, right? He's not calling it a false flag, but he made the Antifa reference, right? He's saying that you know this 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 lunatic left push has an effect on momentum because it takes your eye off the ball, right? The Democrats are the party of rigid ideology and total conformity. They now, I'm not a, I don't support the idea of voting for Republicans. I think that's you know, that's a, that's a trap. Trump thinks he's going to get some kind of momentum in the Senate and the House to get, why and then what? You know, cut the cut the corporate tax rate even more and st st you know, so I, again, I fundamentally disagree with Trump's economic policy, but I, I love what he's, how he's shaking it up. But I, that's all I wanted to say. It's a quick video just to show you that that uh, false flags work. Uh, you know, Cesar Sayak, the, the 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 alleged bomber, fake bomber, pseudo bomber. What are we calling him? The uh, the patsy, right? Whatever he is, is you know, is probably you know still sitting in jail cell somewhere, and. Um, and, uh, you know, was a setup. Was the other guy set up? I don't know. You know, the, I don't, the synagogue shooter thing. But nonetheless, these types of things, and the mainstream media jumps on it and pushes the narrative, it does have an effect on, uh, on, uh, on uh, elections. I don't call it election. I call it manufacturing consent because I don't believe that the, I don't believe that the elections are, are, are on the up and up at this time. But uh, my name is Marcus Conti reporting. Peace. Have a good weekend. Might as well talk about yourself because nobody else is going to. <laughs> nobody else is going to.
Bienvenidos.